Oh, cool. Um, what we're going to talk about is what is a reflection, but we're going to specify this with quadratics. Um, so if I was going to look at, and let's just kind of talk in general real quick about reflections. Let's say I have, let's say I have a, um, a graph here and I have a figure. And let's just make this a rectangle. All right, and this is something we probably talked about in geometry. And when you're looking into reflecting this, and let's say we have a coordinate point. Let's pick, this is our coordinate point, 2, 1, 2, 3. So let's say our coordinate point is 2, comma 3. All right? Now, if I wanted to reflect this over my y-axis, then I would simply take this graph and I would reflect it right over. And therefore, this new point, my point would now be at negative 2, 3. And then the graph would look something like that. I'm not trying to get exact perfect, but you can see that now it has been reflected over my x. So now, if what if I said, let's reflect it over the x-axis? Then this whole graph is now going to be reflected. I want to graph this with green. Now I would reflect it over. Well, the 2 would still be positive, but now my 3 would be negative. 1, 2, 3. And then you could see that this, something like that. So this would be now 2 comma negative 3. All right? And just kind of notice what's, what is negative here. When I reflect over the y-axis, my x was negative. When I reflect over the x value, now my y turns negative. And that's become very important because what we're going to be talking about is quadratics. Now, just by using this understanding, if I have the parent graph of a quadratic, y equals x squared, and we know it's going to look something like this. Pretty close, right? Well, if I say reflect that over the x-axis, you can say, all right, well, the reflection of that graph is going to look like this. All right? So how are we going to be able to determine when we have this reflection? How are we going to determine or what does this exactly look like? Um, is it just whenever there's a negative? Or what negative does it really make, make that we know that we're going to have to reflect it over. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So what we're going to be dealing with is we're going to have a reflection, all right, when our A, so when, it, when is, what is a reflection? When our A is less than 0, we have a reflection. It's going to become very, very important that we make sure we have this in a format where we can determine the value of A. So when I'm talking about A, I'm talking about vertex form. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. You could also be looking into y equals um, ax squared plus bx plus c. When our a is less than 0, we're going to have a reflection. So this graph would look something like this. y equals negative x squared. All right, And I'll kind of show you why exactly this is always going to work. If we look at a table of values for our parent graph, and we know at 0, 0, we have a coordinate. At 1, we're going to have 1. At negative 1, we have 1. And then at 2, we have 4. At negative 2, we have 4. Now, if I'm going to do a table of values for y equals negative x squared, all right, if I do a y at negative x squared, what we'll have is the same points, 0, 0. And then we'll have 1. Well, 1 squared is 1, but now what we're doing is we're multiplying this by a negative 1. So that now turns negative. Notice my y coordinates are now turning all negative. Because it doesn't matter. I'm going to square everything. 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So now every single one of my y terms is always going to be negative. And since I'm turning them all to be negative, you can see that now I'm going to graph my graph downward. So there's a couple points that uh, to want to make sure I clarify. You can see that one thing, this is when my y is pretty much being, uh, being multiplied by a negative, um, or my x is being multiplied by a negative. However, this is a, just a quick little point. If I had a reflection that said negative x squared, now what I'm doing, that would actually be a reflection about my y-axis. Because what I'm doing is I'm actually multiplying my negative is now on my x. Over here, I could rewrite this as negative y equals x squared. 
All right, but then what I do is I divide by the negative 1, or multiply, um, multiply by the negative 1, so you can see it's being multiplied by x squared. Here, since it's inside my function, I am going to reflect about the y-axis, because this is going to do the opposite of my, my x-coordinates. However, since it's squared, we know this, that a reflection of the y-axis is going to be the exact same graph. So when talking about a reflection, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing is pretty much reflecting anything over the x or in the y-axis. However, when dealing with quadratics, we know that through the axis of symmetry that a quadratic is symmetrical around a vertical axis. So therefore, we're not really going to be dealing with um, horizontal reflections, but really only vertical reflections. And our vertical reflections are only going to come when our a is going to be less than 0. Thanks.